Rocks can be subdivided into three major types, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Sedimentary rocks are formed when we break down other rocks like igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, or metamorphic rocks into pieces through weathering by wind and water. As these pieces break down and roll and tumble down the rivers, they go from big pieces to smaller pieces and smaller and smaller and smaller until the very end what we have is practically a powder. And what we've got here is three different size of sediments. In this case we've got our grapes which would be our gravels or our pebbles and they're over two millimeters in diameter. And we've got our finer grain sands. This is a very coarse sand uh, up to uh, two millimeters in diameter. And then we've got our very 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 fine sediments. In this case it's flour that we're using to show this. And that would be what you would end up with after you tumbled your sediments around in a stream for a long, long time and moved them a great distance. And all that's left is the most resilient of the minerals that's within the rock. All the other stuff is gone. And you're left with a very, very fine powder-like material. In nature, these different sediments are mixed up and jumbled around in these rivers. And they're deposited in basins where you have oceans or lakes. And the rivers dump out and all of the sediment falls out and it falls down to the bottom and forms layers or strata. Strata could look like this, like our cereal treats here that have our candies and our candies might represent things like fossils. Maybe there are clams or mollusks that are living on the floor of the basin or maybe some pieces of wood have come in from the shores of the basin and they get incorporated in these rocks and we get mixtures or assemblages of different grains. In each type of grain and its size and the shape and the composition of these grains tells us something about how that rock formed. So geologists can look at clastic sedimentary rocks, clastic meaning rocks made of grains, and tell a lot about what has happened in the history of these rocks. You might also find rocks that contain a lot of weird stuff, like this is my trail mix, and this stuff could be forming a rock that looks something like this, something like our granola bar. So we have many different possible mixtures of grains based on what types of rocks were originally exposed and weathered and eroded and how far those grains have been transported and how small and weathered each of those grains has become. And not only that, but what were the conditions like in the lake or the ocean where these things were deposited? Was there oxygen? If there was oxygen, maybe our critters were able to develop and we got little shells. Or maybe there weren't and we didn't get any. Or maybe there were, it was in an area where there were waters and rivers coming in that were containing pieces of plants. All of those different things geologists can use to piece together the history of an area. So sedimentary rocks are very critical for our understanding the process of how the earth has been eroded and how new rocks have been formed through the many, many millions of years that the rock cycle has been underway. Mm -hmm.